Okay guys, what's up? It's Nick from MigratiPhone.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak on Red Snow 0.9 for 3.1.2 firmware. Now this goes for your iPhone 2G, 3G and 3GS and also your iPod Touch 1G and 2G. So you're going to need two things. You're, of course you're going to need your firmware, your 3.1.2 firmware and Red Snow. I'll put both links in the description. Now this goes for Windows and Mac. I'm going to be doing it on Windows for the video but it runs exactly the same on your Mac. So let's get straight into it. So once you've gone to the link in the description, um, download Red Snow and also download your firmware for your device. So once you've done that, come back to the video and open up Red Snow. Now you'll come to this. So those of you that are familiar with Red Snow, you would know what to do from here. If not, basically this is where you find your um, firmware. So you browse or wherever you um, saved it. Let me just find it for you. So there's mine and we just want to double click that. So it will come up with processing firmware and we just need to wait for it to identify it. Now, I've popped up with this. This is this will pop up if you have an iPhone 3GS or an iPod Touch 2G. So, basically what this means is if you have the newer model of the iPod Touch or the otherwise known as the iPod Touch 3rd gen, then this will be a tethered jailbreak, meaning every time you try to turn it off and back on again, you'll have to run Red Snow again. So, this also goes for the iPhone 3GS users if it is a newer model. Basically, it has a newer boot ROM or an updated boot ROM and it won't work for your device. It will be a tethered jailbreak. So, I don't have the um, new one, so I'm going to click no. If you have the new one, you have to click yes. And you have to answer this correctly, guys, because if you don't, it will mess, mess it up and you'll have to restore it all again in iTunes. So, make sure you answer it correctly. So I'm going to click no and successfully identified. So I now click next and we should come to the good stuff in just a sec. Now I, I've just remembered I need to be plugged in via USB. So make sure you are connected via USB. wait for this to go through okay so we are now with the good stuff and this is where you can start choosing what you want in your firm, um, your firmware so of course if you're jailbreaking for the first time you can install Cydia which is already checked next on the list is verbose boot which is basically the coding for when you boot up looks pretty cool um, I'm not going to tick that so I'm just going to leave that um, custom boot logo which most of you probably want so I'm going to do that now it needs to be a PNG file it says up the top here it needs to be a PNG file and has to be 320 by 480 so make sure your um, custom boot logo is that so let me just find where my boot logo is and okay so that's my custom boot logo done now I'm not going to do the custom recovery logo but for those of you who want to you can do so just by checking and searching like so and again search for the one you want I'm just going to leave it how it is for now but basically your recovery logo is the iTunes um, logo with the USB cable so if you get that you can change that to how you want so that's pretty much it now the last one is already pwned so basically if you're already jailbroken and you just want to change your recovery logo you just check that and custom boot logo and you shouldn't and un uninstall install Cydia so if you are already jailbroken you would uninstall that and check that and then you can change your boot logo so I'm then going to click next now this is the another important part connect your device to the computer so I am connected you then press the both the power and the home button continuously until the help message disappears so that is what we are going to do so we're just going to hold the power button and the home button until 
Red Snow does its thing, and that should be it for us, and it will be jailbroken. So I'm going to keep holding it, still holding it. Now I like to keep holding it until it says done, but you can let go here. I just find it a lot more safer, just in case, and also a lot a bit quicker if I keep holding it. You can let go when it gets to this bit. So as you can see, it is jailbroken. It's downloading the jailbreak data and all we have to do now is sit back and watch so it is now saying it's done and let it reboot hopefully we can see our new boot logo Just let this do its thing now. Once you see this, you pretty much know you're done. Now once you are waiting for this you can click finish on red snow so I could click finish right now which I'm going to do and close out so there is my boot logo just a bit different nothing too I just wanted to pick a random boot logo just for purpose of this video to show you guys that it has changed iPhone God probably has one okay so let it reboot and just if you're wondering why I have a new moon skin on it this is my sister's so this isn't mine so and we have Cydia there you go guys Cydia and you are jailbroken <coughs> excuse me and you are jailbroken for your iPod touch 2G 1G iPhone 3G 2G and 3GS so I hope this video helped you um, please um, leave any comments if you need any help and I'll willing to help you of course so Hope you found this tutorial easy. Make sure to check out MigrateIphone.com website. There's also a written guide on how to do this as well if you couldn't follow the video clearly. So that's been it. Um, now enjoy your jailbreak, guys. That's all I can say. And I'll see you in the next video, probably um, jailbreaking with Snowbreeze. So that's it from me. It's Nick from MigrateIphone.com. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Peace.